Pro XP build. All right, this is something you guys probably been waiting on. Probably wondering what is going on with the Pro XP four seater since I got it. It's been a little while. Um, be honest, just been super busy and had some unfortunate circumstances pop up that's pretty much held off this project a little bit. It's kind of held off a lot of things. I literally came into the barn here. This was on a Sunday, shoot, about a month ago. And I was literally getting everything cleaned up from all the previous projects. And would you know, I was getting on this ladder. This ladder was actually on this other side over here, over this, this table that I have right here. And I had it sprawled out really wide. <laughs> I'm freaking walking up that thing, trying to you know, put stuff up top of the bathroom area over there. And literally that whole entire ladder just freaking boom, slipped right out from underneath me. And uh, I'll come down like a freaking pile of rocks. And uh, well, pretty much put a crack in my heel, banged up my legs pretty good and uh, ripped my arms up. So I was down and out for a little bit. And uh, yeah, they had me in air boot crutches, the whole, the whole shebang, dude. It was, it was a t terrible situation, terrible timing. Had no time for something like that. Um, but you know what, that's what happens when you're in a rush and you're doing things and you're not thinking about it. So uh, be careful with all the stuff you're out there doing, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Um, I'm healed up, I'm back on my feet now and uh, moving around pretty good. So it's time to get after this thing. I've been anxious to get on this project. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna do to this thing. It's gonna be huge. I mean, huge, I, huge. It's gonna be a huge build right here. Awesome. Um, one thing that I gotta do on this thing today that I did not plan on doing right away, um, but there's some circumstances that happened on Risky Business. We went to Hatfield McCoy for Memorial Day weekend. We were running some railroad tracks and Aiden ended up freaking I think he smoked a railroad spike is what we think it is. Um, so a risky business blew out on a rear tire, had a hole in it, probably about that big on one side and then about that big on the other side. Needless to say, we put about 23 plugs in the one. Never really held. We set that thing on fire, tried to melt that thing in to hold and uh, it just didn't hold really good. It held good enough that we got it back home. We got it back to the Hatfield house and he was good to go. His riding was a little, was over pretty much, at, but luckily it was the last day. So it wasn't that big a deal. We loaded it up on the trailer and now it's home. But we are going on another trail ride, a big one. Back to Hatfield McCoy trails and I'm gonna freaking give him the tires off the Pro XP. Um, I won't be running the 30 inch carnivore, so there's really no need for me to hold on to him. And he needs them more than I do. So that'll be an upgrade for him in size. Um, but he didn't want to use the stock wheels. They're actually pretty sweet. They're not a, they're not a, a bead lock. It's got like a, a fake bead lock kind of look to it, but um, they, look, they look really cool. So I hope they look great on his ride. I'm thinking they will, but um, yeah. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna give him these tires. He's gonna hook him up on his new wheels and he'll be good to go for that ride. And I have a new set of tires that I bought for this. And like I said, I wasn't planning on putting them on till kind of the, towards the end of this build or whatnot, but um, I guess it's gonna go towards the beginning. So after we get back from this ride, I'm gonna get on this heavy and we're gonna rock and roll. And there's some cool things. There's some cool things. There's some cool stuff. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> ah! Did you see all that? Oh my gosh. Question. I have all this stuff piled up for this build. Do you guys want me to do a video just going through all the stuff we have and showing you? I don't, actually, I, I might not even remember what's in all those boxes, so maybe that'd be a good thing for me. But is that interesting to you guys? Do you want me to go through, make one video of just literally going through the stack of stuff that we have for this build and then uh, getting after it after that? I don't know. Let me know. Or do you want me to just get this thing done and show you guys the after, you know, the aftermath of it? So, um, totally up to you. I'm down for whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, like I said, I'm gonna put this camera down. I'm gonna get the jack out. I'm gonna jack this thing up. I'm gonna get these wheels off. Get them over there. And uh, well, I guess you're gonna get, by the end of this video, you're at least gonna be able to see the new tires that are on this. Now the wheels, which I'm putting the new tires in the MSAs those might stay on here at the end they might not so uh we'll, we'll figure that out in the end and you guys will understand as this build starts to progress so um yeah that's it let's do this 
little bit longer than a few minutes later. Wow, these are light. I almost feel guilty putting anything else on this, but we're going to do it. Crazy, right? Pro XP4, 2021, less than 24 miles on it. She's already going under the knife, getting stripped down, and this is just the beginning. So we got the tires, we got the wheels off. Three of them are laying there. I'm about to pop this fourth one off right now and uh, load these bad boys on the trailer. I already have everything else on the trailer. And uh, yeah, we'll head out of here pretty soon. I'll show you what I'm putting on the Pro XP4 when this is all said and done. So um, you guys know the way the market is right now, how hard it is to get anything. I literally wanted to get a set of 32 inch carnivores and uh, replace those 30s with 32s. I just, I really have enjoyed them. Um, having those on Gunner and uh, it just, they've been amazing. The hookup on them, they just, the traction, I mean, they just, they do it. They do what I'm looking for. But I couldn't get a hold of them, and who knows when you can. Every time I go to any site, Rocky Mountain, um, any other you know tire sites or whatever, they say, hey, looking to be back in stock at such and such a date, and then you go back on that date, and then it's pushed back another two weeks, and then it's pushed back another two weeks. So literally couldn't get what I wanted. They had these in stock. You know what, BF Goodwrench, it's a solid name. I mean, they've been freaking putting it down for years, and... Uh, I figured, you know what? I can't go wrong with that. These are freaking the Mud Train TA KM3 BF Good Wrenches. Freaking, what's that? Can't go wrong with that. Freaking Baja Champion. I mean, if you got something like that stamped in your sidewall, that's saying something. So, um, don't think I'm going to be disappointed with these. But, like I said, never ran them. So, I'm really interested to see what they're like. They are heavy. They're really heavy. They're no joke. And they are tall. This literally is a true 32. I'm curious what the weight is between these and those after they're mounted. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh one of these ones up <clears throat> just to see, and we'll see what the difference is. And uh, we'll do the same thing on Aiden's rig. I'll try not to shake like I did on Jeff's. <laughs> that was weird. You got about 44.30. 44.30. Woo! All right. Not bad. Like I said, them things are freaking light. So we're gonna go drop these off. As soon as we get back, we'll freaking weigh those BFGs on the MSAs. Things are gonna be a lot heavier, but we'll find out. All Heavy. Right, see ya. I just had to find out what these things weigh by themselves. Um, so just so you guys know, BFGs, KM3s, 32s, Woo. this is what they weigh. Big boy tires. No wheel. You see the scale. Uh, better zero it out. We're at zero. Here we go. Let's see what these are. They're no joke, I can tell. Wow. Does it weigh like the, what the whole set over there weighs? The whole set. What? The whole set, uh, maybe a pound less. Are you kidding me? 43.4. For one tire? For one tire. Oh. And I was way low. I'm thinking Whoa. 20, 30-ish. Oh my gosh. You're adding, you're adding you... some serious weight, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, that's... <laughs> That's heavy. We're gonna we're gonna be adding a ton of weight, just in wheels and tires on the pro. Man, that's crazy. Well, it is what it is. So, all right, let's go. Let's get this done. More hours later. Dude, look at the sadness you got going on. What happened, bud? Railroad spikes. Railroad spikes. That's what I told him. So we got Amy's new setup sitting right here, and before we put these bad boys on, we're going to weigh these out just to have an idea of what kind of weight gain he might be putting on compared to those Dirt Commanders that he had on those stock Polaris wheels. Um, I think he's going to gain a little bit of weight, but not a lot. I think Jeff probably got a little bit more weight than he did with those uh, Nebo wheels and uh, what were those, Tusk uh, tires? What were those? Tusk terabytes? Yeah, so I can already tell this is a little bit lighter setup. Um, we do have it spun backwards. We don't want you to see it just yet. Once we get them all mounted, we'll drop this thing down and we'll show you what wheels Aiden went with. But uh, they do look sweet. I'm going to say that. But let's go ahead and check this out. You can see it's set to zero right now. Come on up here, buddy. Let me just read this right off the screen as I lift it up. You ready, dude? Let's go. Gosh, dude. What is it? 45. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys are way low. <laughs> I said 30, it was 45 right on the button? 45.6. 45.6, okay, so, whew, I'm gonna have to go back to the video of Jeff's 
and uh, double check what these were. I can't remember. I know he added 74 pounds all around. So the rears were like a few, like maybe a pound or two heavier, if I, if I don't remember correctly. You guys don't remember, you weren't even here. Why am I even asking you? I don't even know. But anyways, that's what it is. So let's go ahead and get these things on. We'll show you what Aiden picked. You unveil them, get over here. Come on. I like that freaking Lulu's off-road hat though. That orange. You can get those on Lulu's Off-Road Shop.com. Anyways. We got the ACI boys. Oh, 4 3 offset. Dude. Look at them things. Freaking look like they come out and bite you. Oh, they look good. Yep. Those aren't a real beadlock. But that's all good. It don't matter. He's going to be just fine. What's that all about? What are you don't doing? Bite you. Huh? I'm going to give you a chomp chomp. Give you that alligator chomp. <laughs> Hey, enough of that. You guys be talking some weird stuff sometimes, dudes. I don't know, but this this is not weird. This thing is hot. <laughs> It'll go down a little bit, bud. Look at this thing. Huh? Yeah. Uh, thing looks crazy good. Just go back. Don't do no. Don't do any like rapid stops. Just a gradual. Just go back about two or three feet. Come to a nice controlled stop, do the same thing forward and just leave it alone. A little more than that, Junior. It did drop a little bit, I see that. All right, now go forward and do the same thing. Yep, we're good. Oh man, get out here and take a look at this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this, this is definitely one of the nicest 900s I've seen. I mean, between yours and Jeff's, you guys got, you got some nice looking 900s, man. That's it, that's the 900. Looking good, he's gonna torque this thing down to spec. Are you gonna take this out and rip it a little bit? Am I? Okay, he might take it out and rip it a little bit. If he does, we'll add that to the end of this video. If not, um, that's gonna be it, that's it. 2019, Ghost Gray, Razor, EPS 900S. Looking good, HD alloys. Looking real good, especially with them carnivores. You're gonna have, I mean, well, your tires weren't that bad to begin with, but I mean, these carnivores do offer an extreme amount of traction. So. Hmm? Yep, it was. Perfect opportunity. I wasn't gonna run the 30s on the Pro, and uh, it just made sense to give them to Junior. So, actually, we, we found these rims at uh, Bob Cycle yesterday, because we were there doing something amazing and exciting. I can't wait to fill you in on that. A little bit later. So here we go, we got the wheels and tires. I freaking got the bead locks put on these things. Um, wasn't too bad, you know, it's pretty time consuming, locking all these down and um, getting them torqued down and all that good stuff. But man, do they look good. They look so freaking good. This, this setup looks so much better than I anticipated. I mean, when I just kind of had the wheels next to the tires, I was just like, yeah, it looks good. But I didn't anticipate it looking this good. These things are incredible. And uh, when they're on this, I just think it's going to be even that much better. But we got everything locked down. We got everything aired up. I'm really curious to see what we're going to be at. So we have, we teared this thing out to zero. So let's see what we're going to end up with here. I think the uh, stockers, if we remember correctly, were 44.3. There we go. Six. What do you got, dude? 62.5. 62.5? Well, dang. They're a little heavier. They're a little heavier. So we're talking 18 pounds. I mean, per freaking set or per wheel and tire. So I mean, that's gonna put us around, what was that, 72 total? 72 pounds total around the rig. So yeah, um, you know, adding weight to these things isn't really what you wanna do, but it is what it is. This is what we got, and this is what we're gonna roll with. And. Uh, I guess with that, I just I probably should just lose some weight. Maybe cut some weight on myself and make up for the difference. But yeah, it is what it is. Don't do that. You might scuff up your bead locks. But anyways, I'm going to get these things mounted. We're going to get them on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. All right, dudes, as promised, I told you I would tell you what the freaking Pro looks like with the BFGs and the freaking MSAs with the red bead locks, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm a man of my word, so I'm going to do that. Right here, look at this thing with those red bead lock. Oh, wait, no, that's a red bandana. That's a freaking cow. 
It's not Pro XP. What the frick? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this thing. I know she's sitting kind of high because we ain't scrubbed it out yet. But come on. Come on. Come on. Tell me the Pro XP was not meant to come with 32s. Seriously, 32s are... <laughs> oh, they just, they just look so good. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I know a lot of guys are going to say, Oh, you went with the wrong offset. That's not good. 4-3 offset, terrible. Oh no. Oh well. So, that's what I'm running. I took my MSA and... Had the beadlock powder coated, looking awesome. Perfect Polaris Indie Red and uh, these BFGs. I'm telling you what, phenomenal. These things are phenomenal. I mean, look at these things. I love the tread pattern. The more and more I mess with these things as I was putting the beadlocks on, I just love everything about these freaking tires. I can't wait to see how they actually perform. And, uh, you know, mentioned that before. You know, I'm not really sure what, what that's all about. Never been there. I'd love to go there. Um, but, hey, who knows? Maybe someday. But, anyways, they're amazing. I love them. I love the sidewall design, everything about them. So, I'm super, super excited about them. Aiden, what are you thinking this thing looks like with these freaking wheels and tires set up on here? Great. You were pretty blown away when you walked through the door, weren't you? <coughs> Yeah. Gather yourself, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's bum pumped. So go ahead and start this thing up, man. And just uh, move it forward and back a little bit. Nothing too drastic. This thing's going to drop down. Oh, yeah, she settled right in. Just come forward a little bit, a couple more feet. Now back up and then just gradual brake. Nothing crazy. Oh my god, this thing is so tough. Keep going. Just hit the brake. That's good, dude. She settled down. She looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at that stance. <laughs> dude, I love it, man. I love it. You can call this like the uh, poor man HCR kit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford the HCR kit? Just get a 4.3 offset, man. Gain yourself a few inches there on each side and you'd be golden, right? <laughs> oh, man. This literally... <sighs> wheels and tires literally just transformed this machine. I'm not even kidding you. This thing does not even look the same. Come back here and look at this thing after it's settled down, bud. It looks so good. It's crazy. I'm loving it. Tell me it doesn't look good. It's all the matchups so perfect. Yeah. Man. I mean, all the color is, I mean, right on. I mean, this thing is, this is only the beginning. It's crazy, right? Yep. All right, so, as promised, there it is. There's the Pro XP sitting on the MSA 21s and the BFG KM3, 32-inch, awesome, 15-inch wheels. The whole deal, this thing is sitting, looking tough. And uh, like I just said, this is just the beginning, so. Um, guys, put in the comments, let me know about all that stuff. Do you guys want to know what all that stuff is, or you want me to drop it on the machine? Come back in later, show you what I've done. Up to you guys, just let me know. All right, guys, appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video. All the new subscribers, anyone that's new to the channel, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. It helps us out quite a bit. And uh, we're close, we're close to that 1,000 subs, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much, and uh, like the video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you very soon.